I have a quick question for the black women on YouTube. I want to know why did you support Tommy Sotomayor? I'm just curious, man. Uh, it's not a video for me. You know, this is not me trying to um, trying to uh, take away his fame, <laughs> his so-called fame. You know, I, I'm not hating. See, these these are the things you have to say before you talk about this guy because people automatically assume just because you um, disagree with somebody or you do a video about somebody that you want to destroy them. Uh, this is not the case. But I just want to know uh, why why black women support him. And what led me to this video is I was watching uh, this one particular video by this woman, black woman, and she was doing a support video for Tommy Sotomayor. But the thing she said didn't make any sense at all. Uh, number one, in the description, she compared Tommy Sotomayor to Louis Farrakhan. So, so <laughs> um, I don't really don't get that comparison because Louis Farrakhan talks about a variety of issues, one being white supremacy. Uh, he's not afraid to go in on white people and hold them accountable for some of the things that uh, are uh, affecting the black community. You know, I, I don't understand that comparison at all. You know, you got a guy who is a comedian, but then you have another guy who um, preaches about black nationalism. So, I, I mean, I really don't understand that shit, man. So this is why I'm doing this video. I want to gather an understanding as to why black women do this. Um, now, I had watched Tommy's uh, videos, and uh, I haven't watched all of them. But the majority of his commentary has to do with a particular type of black woman, uh, the ratchet, ghetto hood rat black woman. And what he tends to do is uh, either people send him news stories or articles or I think he would go out and find uh, news stories that talk about these types of women. And then he'll do his commentary. Now, the shit that he does is nothing new to YouTube. I want people to understand that. There's a lot of guys who have done and are still doing what he what he was what he's doing. I know some of you have heard of a guy by the name of Sergeant Willie Pete. Uh the major difference between between Sergeant Willie Pete and Tommy Sotomayor is that Sergeant Willie Pete didn't show his face and he wasn't a uh comedian. Tommy is a he calls himself a comedian, and then he shows his face. All right, but in watching his videos, this guy, uh, and another thing that separates him from Sergeant Willie Pete and the others on here that do this, is that Tommy goes in real hard on black women, calling them darkies, bitches, uh, uh, beasties. Every name in the book, this guy will call a black woman. It's not nothing that he will not call a black woman. And he says it with, with such compassion and conviction. Like he really believes this about black women. And um, now I can't deny that what he's talking about is not true. These women do exist. You know, and if this guy is going out and getting news stories then obviously these things are really happening. Uh, this is what he does. This is his niche. All right? Exploiting the flaws and the ignorance of our community. This is what he does. All right? 
Let's just call it for what it is. But I understand that black women still support him because they believe in their minds that he's not talking about them. Now, I began to hear this, bef you know, before I really started watching his videos. But I'm here to tell you that I don't believe that's true because by Tommy's own admission, and this came from his own mouth, um, he cannot stand black women as a whole. This is what he said. And in some of his videos, he will include all black women. He'll say things like, I can't stand you bitches, all you black women. All is the key word. There was another video in which he ran into a heavy set black woman at Walmart. And I'm pretty sure that those that subbed to him have seen this. He ran into this woman at Walmart and she said she doesn't get offended by Tommy. And the thing about that video is that Tommy expected her to be mad. So why would he expect her to be mad? But anyway, she told him. Um, that she doesn't get offended because it doesn't apply to her. Well, apparently she don't watch his videos because she don't, this guy have said some things about fat black women before. Okay, okay. So she must, either she overlooked it or she must have missed that video. But he has said some things about fat black women, black women before. So I really don't understand um, how she could come up with the idea that he wasn't talking about her. Um, I think a lot of black women have selective hearing or they're not really paying attention to what he's saying. All right. Now, um, I don't believe in going. I'm not going to go into his past. Uh, I'm not going to pull talk about his documents i'm not interested in, in none of that i'm just going to stick to the facts you know because i have some things that i've done in my past and i'm not so that i'm not too proud of but i don't think that it's no one's business it has nothing to do with uh uh what what i'm saying in this vi in this video all right what i want black women to realize is that um there has to come a point to where you draw the line and you stop supporting people that not only can care less about you, but disrespect you. You know, I'm using Tommy as an example, but then you look at, I see black women, uh, dark skinned black women who still support Lil Wayne after what he said about darker skinned black women. I see black women supporting hip-hop artists that do nothing but degrade and call you all types of bitches and hoes and exploit your you know exploit you in these in these videos i see black women supporting movies and tv shows that do nothing but mock and make fun of them so my question is not only for tommy but why do you support people like this You know, I, I think this guy really has a deep hatred for black women. You know, but uh, that is just my opinion. You know, I, I can see why men would watch him. But women, I could I mean, I couldn't see myself watching a a uh, YouTuber, that a black woman that the only thing she did was talk about black men at every moment. It doesn't matter what happens in the world tommy will find a way to make it the black woman's fault it can rain outside and he'll find a way to blame a black woman for it raining i mean i'm just be, i'm being silly but my point is it doesn't matter what it is he would link it up to a black woman all right but you know i see videos from black women supporting him so i would like to know all right this is me reaching out to the youtube community what it is what is it about tommy sotomayor that you like and makes you believe that he's not talking about you 
Because from what I've seen, the, the videos I've seen, I think he is. And like I said before, man, uh, anybody can go out here and find articles and news stories uh, talking negatively about somebody. Um, I can do that with white women. I live in the South, man. Let me tell you right now, these redneck white women are just as ratchet as some of the black women in our communities. All right. They get attitudes. They can get ghetto. You know, if you want to use that that term, you know, some of them have kids out of wedlock. I mean, the same shit that happens in our community, you, I see with them. The difference is I couldn't come on here and talk about a white woman video after video after video. You know why? Because white men wouldn't have it. All right. They know that they have problems in their neighborhood, but they don't let other races of men disrespect their woman and because they don't do it themselves. It really doesn't take no talent to do that. You know, but I can see why men would watch his videos because you have certain men who have dismissed black women altogether for whatever reason. I mean, you got black men who have made poor choices in life, man. Some of these brothers on here have uh, had sex with these low down ratchet black women. And now they got kids by by her. Some of these brothers are paying child support to these these ratchet black women, so they're angry. So they get a sense of gratification when they see Tommy on video talking bad about one black woman because they don't like black women. You know, it's a it's a whole list of reasons as to why a man would want to sit up here and listen to a guy rant about woman over and over and over again. You know, I was raised, you know, that a man is shouldn't complain about a woman. If you don't like a woman, then you move on and find somebody you like. You know, I've always been smart enough not to lay down with these types of women. Better yet, get them pregnant. You got to be pretty fucking stupid. And then you got white people who love Tommy because anytime a brother or a sister will get on a public uh, platform and talk shit about their own people. Like I said, you're going to get the attention of white folks. They love seeing that. All right. This is the reason why when you see guys like this, they rarely say anything about white people. Very rare. Because they don't want to lose their white fan base because they know. See, you when you go mainstream on YouTube, you can't get to a certain level unless you cross over. But instead of being creative and remaining true to themselves, a lot of brothers are, you know, choosing to cross over by selling themselves out. And they start cooning. Like I said, I respect the brother that can be successful without cooning. But anyway, man, that's my question to the black YouTube community for black women. I want to know what it is about Tommy that you love so much, man. And don't come, don't come, don't come with this uh, Louis Farrakhan shit, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear that comparison. I just want to hear, you know, because I could be missing something, man. You know, I don't know everything. Uh, maybe this guy is helping you. But my definition of helping is not pointing fingers. To me, that's not teaching. You know, my form of helping and teaching is, okay, here's the problem, but Here's how we're going to fix it. Let's talk. Let's come to the table with some solutions. To me, that's a teacher. You know, when a guy does that, then we can start then we can start talking about the comparisons to Louis Farrakhan. But a guy that rants and complains and highlights the flaws, that's not a teacher to me. That's an opportunist. But anyway, uh, that's my video. Peace.